I mean, some gang stalkers, it's almost like they want to be seen and heard. Like, they wear the loudest clothes. Like, oh, let's all wear red. Or let's wear all black. You know, let's just... <laughs> or let, let's drive an orange truck. Like, what kind of person drives an orange fucking truck? Nobody. I mean, the red cars are standard, uh... The standard issue for Red Squad communists. Uh, <laughs> I just can't even fathom why someone would like. Oh, I want to become a communist when I grow up. That's literally what gang stalkers are. You're literally a communist. You're, you're the Marxist perfect perfection of what. A communist is supposed to be like Karl Marx's fantasy is what these gang stalkers are. Complete surveillance state. It's usually too. I don't want to say anything, but. We know what kind of people usually become gang stalkers, and I'm just going to say right now, it's usually women. Because women are prone towards communism and Marxism. Anyone that feels like they have, they want revenge on men, so they're going to, oh, we're going to gang stalk men. It's like, but really, anyone that doesn't have, they're not... They don't have a skilled labor job, so they just do it because they're because that's all they have. They they pick from whatever they have to become gang stalkers. They the talent pool isn't very uh, isn't very you know they don't have much to pick from on the application pile for gang stalkers. So they pretty much take whatever they can get these days to harass us. That's, that's the truth, sorry. Man. Most of these gang stalkers, they didn't go to college. They don't got no fucking college degrees. They don't have any skills. They don't have any no knowledge. Very uneducated. That's why it's easy to recruit them to become communists, because they recruit from low IQ people that are easily rooked into this kind of stuff. And I hate to say it, but the handlers are usually one or two kinds of people. They're either... Honestly, the handlers are usually white guys. But there's also black handlers too, just know that. It's basically pimping. It's basically modern day... Like, the handlers are literally the pimp. And they literally go tell the... And the gang stalkers are literally the prostitutes. That's going to be the title of the video, is that gang stalkers are prostitutes for the devil. But the handler is literally like the pimp. The pimp controls the, the stalkers, the gang stalkers, the prostitutes. And the handler, the pimp, is the one making all the money off of it. So it's literally like we're being prostituted out by having these other prostitutes enslave us by following us around all the time. This is human trafficking is what it is. These gang stalkers themselves are human trafficking victims and are being trafficked to stalk us, to traffic us. These gang stalkers are a bunch of prostitutes. They prostituted themselves for a gift card. It's simple. Not all prostitution has to deal with sex. They have prostituted themselves for for, for gain, for monetary gain. They have sold out. That's what a sellout is. A sellout is literally a prostitute. They have sold their... It's like a prostitute sells their body for whatever, you know. A gang stalker, they sell their... Sell their life to literally become a slave and a gang stalker. It's just truth. 
and the handler, the pimp, the pimp owns the prostitute. It's not like it's easy for these prostitute gang stalkers just to get out of this. They're owned by the pimp. The target individual is the only the, is the pimp owns the, the gang stalkers, not the target individual. The target individual is not property. They want to try to make us property. That's why they gang stalked us. They're trying to own us. They're trying to enslave us. Anyone who becomes a gang stalker, they've already lost. You're already owned. You're a slave. You're a prostitute. You're a prostitute for the devil. You're a prostitute for communism. You've whored out yourself for month, for a few gift cards. You literally got women whoring out themselves for gift cards nowadays to become gang stalkers. It's literally what it is. They've whored out. They're whoring out themselves. This is gang stalking is the modern day form of prostitution. You know, I can look at things in different ways that other people can't and make connections to things to, you know, connect ideas that other people wouldn't really think about too much. Um, yeah, these people are prostitutes. Uh, they sold out. They sold out for a few, for some, for any, uh, what they thought would be an easy life, you know. They didn't know what they got themselves into. They didn't think it would, they thought it would just be easy. Apparently. So they just got, they, they, rather than work a real job and make an honest living, these gang stalkers sold out to the man, hoard out their bodies, to become basically the devil's shock troops what I understand devil's you know troops on the ground are the gang stalkers you know army of the devil troops of doom there's a song by Sepultura called troops of doom well, read the lyrics it's literally what these gang stalkers are they're the troops of doom they ain't my doom I think the troops of my doom, they're the troops of their own doom. Well, yeah, they sold out. They're prostitutes. Just like when people sell out for a contract, they've already prostituted themselves to the devil. The devil is the ultimate pimp. He's the ultimate pimp. They sold out already. You don't think they sold out? You're wrong. Why do you think they act like sellouts? They have to wear the colors. They have to wear the colors. All part of the ritual. Because they sold out. I'll tell you the colors. Black, red, white. Black, red, white. Orange. Because orange is the color of 33 degrees. Color of the fallen angels who landed on the 33rd pillow parallel. So black, red, orange, white, and I guess blue would be because blue and red make purple. So blue is another satanic color because purple is another. It's oh, it's really purple, orange, black, red, white, and blue. Because blue and red make purple, and purple is one of the satanic colors. Orange is the color 33. Red is the color of fear. Black and white are the color of the Freemasons. That's why you got black and red. I mean, you got black and white in the police uh, cruisers, and then you got blue lights and red lights, which combine to make purple. So that's why they have all these Illuminati colors and color coding. It's it's all it's all occult. All occult. They got to wear the occult colors. Purple, red, orange, black, white, red, blue. They got to keep doing the rituals, which is the ritual is the gang stalking ritual. It's a, 
they there's no stopping now. They have to keep doing it. They're part. They they sold out. These celebrities have to do rituals after they sold out. These gang stalkers have to do rituals too. They're, they're just prostitutes. That's all they are. And really, the pimps are prostitutes too, if you think about it. It's really just one prostitute controlling the other prostitutes because they're controlled by other pimps. So really, they're all slaves. It's a slave state. They're all slaves. It's basically slaves trying to, to enslave people. It's pretty much what the slavery system is. The masters who think they're the masters are the slaves. You know, they're just free roaming slaves on the plantation, but they're still slaves, and they want to try to enslave every target individual. But they use other slaves... The, the pimp uses other slaves who's a, the pimp is a slave himself uses slaves to try to enslave other other people that are that are free you know have a free spirit that aren't easily controlled so this is complete plantation system these gang stalkers are their modern day uh, you know like on plantations how they'd have the slate the person cracking the whip it's the same thing we're just the, the, the whip is them following us around all the time it's literally plantation a slave, slavery didn't go away we're just free roaming slaves but we still got the freaking uh Slave drivers and slave catchers. And they don't care. It doesn't matter if you're black or white. They're both trying to enslave black and white people equally. It has nothing really to do with race. Because there are the target individuals come in many different races and stuff. Israelites come in many, come in different races. So it's really just, it's these slaves who have sold out to Satan, who is himself a slave to God's will, you know, who, who is himself limited by God's power. It's a slavery system. Deep down, they all, all these demons know that they are inferior, that they are not free, so they have to act like a slave but target individuals you know, we're your free spirits we are the masters they are the slaves that's the truth our masters are our are our slaves the Canaanites are the ones that try to control us but really they're they're the lowest of the low really they're the cursed ones Canaanites try to act like they're superior when they're really inferior. They're the serpent seed. Every Israelite should know that by now. I also told you the hunt, the Hunnic bloodline are the serpent seed too. I told you they came from Nimrod. Who, Nimrod was a Nephilim. Um, This all goes back to Egypt. And what do we know about Egypt? Egypt was the son of Ham. Mizraim was the son of Ham. And Mizraim worked with Nimrod. Egypt worked Egypt worked with Babylon. It was the Babylonian priest that established the Masonic um, Egyptian religion of Osiris and Isis worship. This is all one Hamitic slave cult. One Hamitic uh, domination of the world. Like I said, the Magyars and the Huns are the descendants of Nimrod. Uh, so 
so yeah, it's one big Hamitic Egyptian Canaanite, um, Phoenician, Hunnic, you know, Mong you know, Hunnic, dragon bloodline type domination of the world. Um pretty much all from the Hamitic bloodlines. And they want to every they want to enslave slave us all. They don't want us to have any property. That's why communism exists. They want to take your property from you. And part of the conspiracy of gang stalking is to defraud you of your property and your livelihood and your life. It's the it's fraud. That's what communism, the goal of communism is, is, is to seize your assets. Like I said, Freemasons aren't free. They're slaves. They work for the devil. They're just free roaming slaves on the plantation as all Freemasons are. This, you know, The white man isn't free as long as the other white men are trying to enslave him. As long as other white men and black men and other Asian men and they all join the Freemasons, then we can't be free. Well, we can, but these slaves have to try to enslave us. Because they know they're inferior and have to join up with the Illuminati. Freemasons aren't free. Freemasonry isn't free. Everything comes with a price. Power comes with a price. So this is really all about the master-slave dialectic and the fact that the master really is the slave. The slave tries to enslave people. Because he himself is a slave. The one who tries to enslave is himself a slave. So these rich white people that try to enslave other people, these Canaanite serpent seeds, are themselves slaves because they come from because they come from the Canaanites. So. These slaves think that they're that they the reason why they ha they're so afraid is because they know they're supposed to be slaves. So they're so they're busy trying to enslave everybody else because they know deep down they're supposed to be slaves. So they have to try to defraud everyone else, steal everyone's property, use communism and gang stalkers to try to control everyone on the plantation because they themselves are slaves are enslaved to Lucifer. So this is the modern day system of slavery which is called gang stalking which is using other slaves to try to control us on this plantation. We don't have to comply with them. We don't gotta comply. Freemasons, slave masons, what they are. Freemasons are free. So, uh, I mean, it was, I don't wanna really go into history too much, but look up the history of Africa the history of the Moors and what the Moors did and how the Moors were slave catchers for the white man in Europe. The Moors were the original Uncle Toms that enslaved other that catch slaves for the white man who were really just the serpent seed and, and tried to enslave uh, other white people with, with debt and get them indentured with feudalism and stuff. 
Look up the history of the Moors, Israelites, and know that they, they're your enemies. Look up the history of the Canaanites, the Philistines, the Phoenicians. And also look up the history of look up the history of the Aryan Hunnic uh Scythian bloodline, serpent seed bloodlines. Because both of the Canaanite and the Scythian Aryan bloodlines mixed together. The Scythian bloodline comes from Nimrod, who is the hunter. That's why they were hunters on the uh, Asian steppe. They were hunters. They used bows, just like Orion, uh, just like Nimrod was a hunter, just like Artemis. So were the Scythians who became the Thracians. This is the other surface sea bloodline. Um, they mixed with the Canaanite Phoenicians later on in history. So there's mul there's two serpent there's there's really two main serpent sea bloodlines. We well, also have the Egyptians too. The Egyptians worked with the the Egyptians worked hand in hand with the Phoenicians, the Cana the Canaanites, the Moors. The Egyptians worked hand in hand with them. They all they all worked together with Freemasonry under a system of the occult of Babylonian Nimrod Osiris worship. See, since the Huns themselves were from Osiris, the hunter Orion, they themselves were hunters. And they hunted people all over. They were the scourge of God, and they they hunted and destroyed Europe. Tried to destroy Rome. Both the Phoenicians and the Huns were the ones who tried to invade Rome. So these were both the barbarian Serpent seed bloodlines, the slave catcher bloodlines that have, that have tried to enslave us, that control the banks. And they're also they're also mixed of um, Esau, who is who who is pretending to be the real tribe of Judah, and he's mixed of Canaanite bloodlines too, and some of the Scythian bloodlines, and he's. He's working to betray his brother uh, Israel and also Judah too. So he's he's the Freemason traitor, is Esau. He's working to build the third temple of Solomon so he can put his God, the abomination of desolation, on the throne. So really it's it's it's, it's multiple different serpent bloodlines. And also you got Judas's, you got Judas bloodlines too that were supposed to be good bloodlines, but they became traitors by working with the serpents. So you got Judas's too, just like Judas was supposed to be good, but you know, sold out Jesus. So you have Judas's, and you have Judas's in your own family that sold you out through gang stalking. You got Freemasons within your own family. Freemasons within your own family that want to try to enslave you, take your property, that work with their other brothers, to try to conspire against you, who are on synthetic telepathy and don't tell you about anything. So the, yeah, you got Freemasons within your own family. Um. You got jealous people that want to try to take and steal your inheritance. You know? Jealous people in the family that are jealous. They're mad. They're Freemasons. You got hateful family members that are a part of, of the occult. They're traitors and Judases. Society is run by Judas, by traitors. Witches themselves are Judases. They pretend to be good while they themselves do black magic on target individuals in secret and then want to mock 
and make videos and act like they're a target individual. They're the ones right now trying to do black magic on me all the time and making me feel bad. These witches are Judases. They sold out. Don't trust a witch. Never trust a witch. To tell you the truth. So really. It's all about slavery. It's all about trying to put you under this Egyptian slavery, slavery system, which goes back to the Egyptians, who were the master slavers. They themselves were slaves. What people don't what you what people need to realize though is that is that Satan's bloodlines are actually there's infighting and and division between the two the multiple uh, bloodlines like they're not all on the same page is what I'm trying to say so the Canaanite bloodlines and the the Aryan Nazi bloodlines aren't all on the same page and want different have a, have different goals. They all have different plans and goals. So yeah, that's why you have that's why you have world wars. What do you think World War One was? It was a power struggle. There's there's a power struggle right now going on between the multiple. Uh, strands of the of the bloodlines and different secret societies what you need to realize is not all the secret societies are on the same page and work together some of them are actually enemies of each other um, that's why you have world wars that's why Iran and Russia and China are pretty much going to go to war against the United States and Europe. The Iranians themselves come from the Scythians. They come from the other bloodline of the Aryans. They, the Iranians themselves are ancient, the Persians themselves in ancient times worshipped Ahriman, who is the devil. Persians are part of the other satanic bloodline. Um, there's multiple different bloodlines. It's not all just the Canaanites and the Egyptians. But yeah, the Persians are going to ally with the Chinese and the and Magog, who is Russia. Because really, Russia and, and Iran are really brothers of the same bloodline. So they're all going to ally together because they're pissed at the United States and pretty much uh, the abomination of desolation is going to destroy Israel and he's going to usurp and he's going to basically raid their temple and put himself on their throne and then they're all going to worship him like he conquered us he's the he's the you know he's the god king or whatever that's how it's going to be. It's Osiris. He has returned from the dead. You are the chosen. It's like the chosen one. It's literally like the prophecy. It's like Anakin, pretty much. But uh, I mean, literally, he's like the real Antichrist. That, who do you think Darth Vader was? That whole story is literally about the Antichrist. So it's like this chosen one is literally going to invade Israel, completely des desolate. He's the abomination. That brings upon desolation. He's probably he might come from the tribe of the Magog, and he's gonna literally wreck and tear up Judah. 
uh, Israel and there's going to be a lot of chaos when the new when the real new world order is brought about the 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 order right now is not the real new world order because the new world order itself is fighting against itself the real new world order will be when the this world order is destroyed when America Babylon falls then the real new world order when Israel and Babylon both fall the real new world order of the Antichrist will be brought into play that's what the new world order is this is not the new world order this is the old world order is still in play right now they don't realize they see they think this is the new world order they're deceived the Canaanites themselves think that they're going to be controlling everything but then the Canaanites are going to get destroyed by the bloodline of Magog the other Nephilim bloodline is going to destroy them with the Antichrist see, the Antichrist he's going to turn on these Canaanites and these Egyptians and he's going to destroy America. And he's going to make himself look like a hero for destroying the evil bloodlines and the evil countries. And all these Iranians are going to cheerlead for the, the Antichrist because he's they're going to think he's like the, the savior of the, Ira the Aryans or whatever. Iranians. And so are the Russians too. And the Chinese. They're going to think like he's like the dragon or something like that. Because he is the dragon. Because really the Chinese, the Iranians, and the Russians all hate America. America is Babylon. This is Babylon. No one likes Babylon in ancient times. Everyone wanted to invade Babylon. For good reason. Babylon was a piece of shit country. So America is literally just Babylon, and like Babylon before, Babylon will be destroyed again. So these Canaanites, these Rothschilds, they're going to be betrayed by the Antichrist. All these bloodlines that think they're the real New World Order are going to get betrayed by the by Judas, by, by Satan. He's going to turn on them and make himself look like a hero by destroying the evil bloodlines. And then he's going to die but, and then get resurrected. And then people are going to think he's a messiah because he got killed but came back from the, from the dead. Uh, so this is basically, really, Revelation is really all about World War III. Um, it's pretty much all it's about.